Another basic mechanic of a fighting game is the input buffer. So for this video, you see a bunch of arrows. Essentially, everything that you press is being recorded. And if you do something like a special move, the token, uh, the code figures that out and we go into the animation. So right now I don't have the actual projectile, I just have the basic motion of it. Uh, down, forward, down, forward, and then peak, as in punch. We also have the input buffer for the other player. So we have two sets of input buffers. What's interesting about these buffers is that if you're using a joystick, it's pretty easy to, to write the code for it because the joystick you can press into any direction that you want versus with the keyboard, if you want to press diagonal into the diagonal direction. So for example, if you want to press down forward, you have to press down key and forward key at the same time and hold. And the very act of releasing the down key all of a sudden you're now going into the forward motion. Just like that. In terms with the code, if I were using the joystick, all I need would be these two functions. This just figures out which direction you're pointing to. With the keyboard, it's are you pressing W, A, S, or D? All the additional code is all about figuring out if you're using the keyboard are you pressing down forward at the same time or forward up at the same time or up back at the same time or uh, down back at the same time. So that's all the code is about. By the way, yellow represents that the key is used. Can I use the same key twice? Gray means that you've released the key. White means you're still holding on to the key. Every single arrow in P is a key press. I have something called the input OBJ. So every single arrow that you see is an input OBJ. And the code tries to figure out whether you're holding onto the key, released it, or is the key used. It's a very simple concept. The difficult part is translating that into a bunch of ones and zeros. And uh, I think that's it for this video. Before I end it, um, let me mention one more thing. So here's just one more update that I want to mention before I go. Before, I had to uh, hard code all the animation specs into the code. Every time you make changes, you have to recompile. Now I have the JSON files how many tiles you have, X, Y, how many sprites is it, uh, what's the size of the sprite, and so on. So all the animations that you see, whether it's walk forward, jump up, jump forward, or the Hadogan, all that specs is defined by the JSON, JSON file regarding the animations. So uh, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, you can reach me on all the links below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.